All right, today we're going to talk about equations of perpendicular lines. Now, uh, the basic form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope, which is the measure of how steep a line is, and b is the y-intercept, which is where basically your starting point where it crosses the y or vertical axis. Um, now, unlike parallel lines, parallel lines have the same slope. So these would be parallel. They never cross. They're the same steepness. Now, perpendicular lines are when they cross at a 90 degree angle. So that would be like this. These are like when they make a cross. That makes a 90 degree angle. A 90 degree angle is like the corner of a square. So again, if I had two lines like this, they would be perpendicular. Um, so the way you determine the thing you need to know though about the perpendicular slopes is they aren't the parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have a negative reciprocal slope. So if your slope was 2 over 3, your perpendicular would be negative 3 over 2. Um, some people use the word opposite reciprocal. So if, it was a, if your slope had been a negative 3 over 2, the opposite of that would be positive, and then the reciprocal is flipped, 2 over 3. So um, if you have a negative, the perpendicular would be a positive slope. All right, so let's look at the problem. Um, in many ways, this is very similar to how to write an equation of a perpendicular line and so forth. It's the same process except you just need to remember this fact right there. Alright, so in this problem we got a linear equation um, for a perpendicular bisector. A uh, perpendicular bisector means it cuts the line in half at a right angle. Uh, this is more of a geometry uh, type question uh, that is perpendicular through a 5 comma negative 3 and b negative 1 negative 5. I would even tell you what it means. Okay, so it's a, it will intersect the midpoint at a right angle. So the first thing I would definitely do, as always, when, you given, when you're given points, you should always sketch them. Your sketches don't have to be beautiful, but they do need to be, they need to have the values, the numbers in the problem. So it says that we've got a line that's, so let's plot the points first. A is 5 comma negative 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So this is 5 comma negative 3, that's A. Then it says that B is negative 1, negative 5. So that's over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So B is negative 1, comma, negative 5. Now we're, we've got these connected with a line, or a segment. And it says that we are, basically, we're drawing a perpendicular line through this. So it's hitting the midpoint. So if we look, eyeball the middle, it looks somewhere like there. Um, we're going to have some sort of a midpoint, and then we're going to have some line through it. So that's like point C. I don't know what it is yet, but I know it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Okay? Um, so after you find that, let's, let's go ahead, let's figure out what the slope is. We can't figure out the slope of, of our new line, but what we can start by doing is finding the slope of the line that they gave us. All right? And then we'll use the knowledge of what perpendicular means to get the other value. So again, slope is a measure of steepness. How and its rise over run. Now, when you read a graph, just like when you read a book, you should read left to right. So, when I read this graph, as I go left to right, it's going up. It's, it's not going down, it's going up. It's pretty flat, so it's going to be a small slope, but it's definitely positive because it's going upwards as I read left to right. So, I know that my slope is going to be positive. So, I have to figure out how positive it will be. So, when I, I look at the heights, I start at a height as negative 5, then I go to a height of negative 3. Again, steepness is rise over run. So I want to know how far apart those are. So if I go from a negative 5 up to a negative 3, that's a difference of two spots. So I had to have gone up 2. Then I look over. Well, I go from negative 1 to positive 5. Well, when you're determining left to right, don't count it. Just start. Okay, negative 1, I have to hit 0 first. So that's one spot. And then from 0 to 5, that's 5 more. So a total of 1 and 5 make 6. So that's 6 spots. All right. So now we have our rise and our run. Our rise, it's a positive slope. So it's positive 2. We're going up 2 and over 6. Now you can simplify that number. So our slope would simplify to um, 1 third. Okay, that's the slope of the, this line. Okay, but we're looking for the perpendicular. 
perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal. Or I, I always said negative reciprocal, but opposite. So if this is a positive one-third, the opposite of a positive one-third will be negative one-third. 